For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do these uh, two problems that, I mean sorry, this problem that where you have two street lights and I think that it's better if you draw it from the front Each one has a weight of 50 pounds, so this is 50 pounds, this is 50 pounds. You know that this whole thing right here is 24, and this thing is 6, and this is 18. So we gotta draw a right triangle right here. You know that this is 6, and this is basically 24 minus 18, which is also 6, which would make this angle 45 degrees, because tangent inverse of 6 over 6 is... 45 degrees so this is 45 degrees we have this one right here this one right here this one right here and this force right here and this angle we don't know so they basically want you to find the height that this pole has to be to keep this whole balanced, this whole thing uh, balanced. So this is how we start. You start on, as you can see, we have two free body diagrams right here, one in the right and one in the left. We're gonna start with the one in the right. We got 50 pounds going down, and we know that some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero, which means that Let's call this one F1, and I'm going to call this force right here F2, which means that this is F2 as well. This will be F3. So on the, on the free body diagram on the right, you know that F1 sine of 45 minus 50 is equal to 0, which will make F1 equal to 70.7 pounds you know that the sum of the forces in the x is also equal to zero so you know that f1 cosine of 45 minus f2 is equal to zero you solve for f2 and you get that is equal to f1 cosine of 45 we found f1 already right here so you plug in f1 and you get that f2 is equal to 50 exactly now we're going to move to the free body diagram on the left we know F2 already, F2 is equal to 50 pounds. So now on this diagram, we know that the sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero. So you know that F3 times the cosine of, let's call this angle like that, negative, because going to the left plus F2 is equal to zero but we know f2 already to be 50 so minus f3 cosine of this angle plus 50 is equal to zero so you know that f3 cosine is equal to 50. now we do the let's call this actually equation one and we know that the sum of the forces in the y on the left free body diagram is equal to zero as well in equilibrium so you know that F3 sine of this angle minus 50, which is the weight of the light, is equal to 0. So F3 sine of this angle is equal to 50. So let's call this one 2. So basically, I'm going to do equation 2 over equation 1, equation 2 is F3 sine of this angle is equal to 50, equation 1 is F3 cosine of this angle is equal to 50, you divide them, the F3 cancels out, sine over cosine equals to tangent of this angle is equal to 50 over 50, which comes out to be exactly 1. Tangent inverse of 1 will give you the angle, which is exactly 45 degrees. Now, 
you know that this angle is 45 degrees if this angle is 45 degrees and you know that this length from here to here is 5 given right here this is 5 now let me redraw this triangle right here this is 45 this is 5 this is let's call it y you know that tangent of 45 is equal to y over 5 So you solve for y and you get that y is equal to 5 as well. If y is if from here to here is equal to 5 and from here to here is equal to 18 given right here, h is 18 plus 5, therefore h is equal to 23. final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.